guys welcome back to my channel it is thursday the 11th of july and i know because i've just checked and it's been another lovely day here in bulgaria if you're new welcome my name is marcia i'm on a weight loss journey but i'm also in bulgaria for the week if you're returning thanks so much and um, so yeah week eight on manjara five milligrams it's a challenge getting my protein in this week. It's just like been really, really difficult, but struggling on, you've seen my food each day and it has been a bit dodge. Still looking hot. Oh, bless you, he's a cutie. So um, breakfast today was all right. I had a couple of poached eggs and some toast, so nothing remarkable there, but it was fine. And at least a bit of something, it's something I'd have at home as well. Lunch, surprisingly, was okay. And um, so as you can see on my plate, there's a few things on there. And um, I got the chicken breast, hoping it was gonna be okay, but obviously all week the chicken's been so undercooked. But I thought I'll take a chance on it and it was fine. The slice of pizza was a backup plan because there wasn't really very much else to choose from. And the kebabby thing we got because we thought, what the heck is that? And they reckon it was chicken. It's not chicken. Could it be pork? I don't know. I didn't really look at any sort of meat, I know, but um, we didn't eat it. <laughs> um, had a few chips and yeah, it was very limited. I have met with the two rep this afternoon and had a chat with her as well about everything. And she's going to be speaking to the manager of the hotel, obviously about mainly about like the undercooked food. It's been so bad. Honestly, most of the meat is undercooked and still raw in the middle. So it's a bit of a a health risk really i think and plus i just can't eat it and i need to be getting my meat i'm not gonna i can't i said to him i'm not a 15 year old kid that thinks it's great to have pizza and chips every day and i'm i'm not and so far i've not had any pizza mainly because i'm really worried how it would like affect me being on manjaro so i'm not risking being poorly on holiday but apart from that it's all going well look a bit why oh, it's so warm um so looking out there today is another beautiful evening. It's been ever so hot. Um, the pools, I think there's still people. No, pools now. Um, oh, there's a couple down there in the pool still. But we're just about to go down for dinner. It's gonna be a quiet night in because obviously it was such a late night last night with the football, but it was fantastic. I'm gonna show you my dress that I've got on in a minute in the mirror. But I wore this last May when I retired from my do, and honestly, I think I was bursting out of it then. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room in it, and um, I'll show you. So I think this is gonna be one that, this might be the last time I get to wear this dress because it's too big, yes! Um, it's probably gonna be really big by the end of the whole day if I don't start eating something. So um, I don't wanna be moaning anymore. Just let it be known now that the food is crap. I don't wanna be making this vlog all about my food dramas, but um, just so you know, if you think, oh, that hotel looks great that Marcy went to, let's go there. I would just say, don't. The food lets it down, but the rest of it is, is fine, really. Okay, let's look at my outfit, then we're gonna go and see if we can find something to eat. Right, here's my outfit. There's some noise in the corridor outside from one of those families. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I really like this dress. It's really pretty sleeve. I think it's a blue vanilla. Um, I'll pop it on the screen when I'm editing what it is. But it's just, it's really flattering if you're worried about the tops of your arms because it's got these like little double like frills. And they actually do this dress in loads of other um, materials as well. And it's honestly such a flattering one. It's like a false wrap over. So it's attached here. It doesn't, it's not gonna come open. It's stitched in. You've got this little belted tie here. And it's just pretty. It's like a little sort of skater length dress. And I think it's such a lovely dress. These shoes as well that I got from New Look are super comfy. I have worn them every night and I'm really pleased I got them. They are, um, that's all I can concentrate on is them in the corridor, sorry. Yeah, these ones I picked up from New Look. Um, I'll try and link them below if I remember, but yeah, they are really comfy if you like wearing heels on holiday. I would strongly recommend them. So yeah, this is me tonight. And um, I love this dress so much. It's a bit big here as well. Can you see on the, um, you can just see it's starting to gather here because it's a little bit too big, which is great, but it's also sad. So um, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Claire's like, you've not mentioned my outfit today. He never usually matches. <laughs> he's got really bad color coordination, but he's smashing it tonight. Here we have this beautiful um, island design, tropical design. This is a shirt from, is it Matalan? Jurassic. 
is it Matalan? <laughs> it's Matalan. Beautiful, um, subdued blues, browns, and greens. <laughs> Beautiful, and the best of it all is he's managed to coordinate it with a pair of shorts very well. Shake your booty, Glenn, for the for the public. Booty shake, twerky twerky. No twerky from Glenn. Then moving that, we've got some lovely Adidas little yeah. socks and Adidas shoes. So turn around and give us a twelve, please, no. Glenn. Okay. okay, we'll have to twirl around you then. Here is the man about town. Ah. Uh, is a stunner. Oh, that'll be a nice photo actually. Let's just take a little screenshot there. There we go. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> go ahead. So it's an earlier night tonight. We're just literally gonna have a drink on the balcony. We've just brought one up from the bar. Um, so I've got a cocktail with me now. I've had one cocktail downstairs and two halves of lager. So not been too bad this evening. Dinner, like food update. I know I said I wasn't gonna go on about it, but this is quite, well, actually two things. Food update, um, what a difference. Everything was red hot and we had loads of selection of meats. But the um, you have you have the little lights and um, heaters to keep the food hot. They were switched on, and it's only today that I realised they have not been switched on until now. So hopefully, um, just as us having a chat with the Tui rep, and she's gone and spoken to the manager. Hopefully, that's kind of like prompted that to happen. So that will benefit every single person here at the hotel. So that's really really good. Um, secondly, <laughs> prior to that, when we were getting ready, I was sat on the balcony doing my makeup. Um, Glenn was in the shower and I had this look, I turned around and there was two women in my room um, I think one of them was like maybe like the cleaning manager and the other one was like the cleaner from my room from today and like this poor cleaner had been dragged up here by this manager and for me to tell them what, what I wasn't happy about it was so intimidating honestly I nearly died if they'd been here five minutes earlier <laughs> they'd have got a shock because Glenn was sprawled out on the bed before his shower <laughs> um, in his birthday suit <laughs> cooling down because it's been so hot with the aircon like banging out and then um, literally it's like they just walked in I, I, I honestly can't believe that they did that and I just felt really intimidated by her and um, it was a really strange experience but this poor cleaner looked like she was like on the like like honestly on death row it was awful and I thought oh my god is she gonna lose her job and I was like no no it was a cleaner from yesterday that hadn't moved at all this lady's moved everything after we complained last night but, oh it was just awful <laughs> um anyway all of that is done. So yeah, food situation was great. We've both been like on a meat high. We had some, oh, like honestly, it didn't look amazing on the plate, but it was so good. We had like a turkey, there's a massive turkey, so we had huge amounts of turkey meat. There was proper potatoes, there was gravy. We were like, oh, hmm? Wink, wink, what? Wink, wink, what? Turkey, man. Oh, I thought it was like, oh yes, um, the, the little man carving the curvery, <laughs> carving the turkey. <laughs> um, I was curvier. Um, yeah, I think I think um, he had a little sh little little twinkle in his eye for me, and I suddenly got a little wink off him after. So I was like, "Oh, thank you so much. This is gorgeous." I was gonna say he's got no how, no idea how much I want a bit of meat, but that doesn't sound right either, does it? So I think actually on that note, we're going to go. So yes, um, from now on, these daily vlogs for us the whole day are gonna be a little bit more upbeat. Tomorrow is gonna to be a pool day, but we are gonna go out shopping. I think just having a mooch about and a few drinks sort of around the main resort tomorrow night. So we'll definitely take you with that. And I think let's just have a bit of fun now for the last sort of few days. We've got three full days left. So let's make the most of it. And as you can see, it is so, look at that. I mean, we cannot be unhappy. Look at that view. Everything else is great. It's just been the food, but it's been fine today. Breakfast, lunch and dinner's been okay, hasn't it? Yep. 
so you know maybe it's all turned around so i will see you in the morning guys take care Mwah. bye for now